When studying sustainability, it's really easy to become discouraged, but in Iceland, I feel like I found a message of hope. The Arctic Sustainability Immersion Trip was a collaboration with the Sustainability Office and the Institute for Arctic Studies to send a group of students to Iceland to explore the energy and sustainability transitions that have been happening there. Iceland has really been able to use its unique set of natural resources, as well as its geographic location and its role as an Arctic nation, to become a really inspiring model for sustainability. With Dartmouth's recent commitment to decarbonization and the launch of the Dartmouth Climate Collaborative, it was a really amazing time for us to go to Iceland and see firsthand some of the sustainability transitions that these communities are putting into place there. We looked at many scales of energy transitions and sustainability goals. So we looked at the international level with the Arctic Council and the international governance portion, but we also went down all the way to the municipality, really local level. I think it's really easy to think of Iceland as being an isolated island out in the middle of nowhere. But from this trip, I've actually learned that it's so similar to Dartmouth and to Hanover as a whole. And so there's a lot that we can learn from each other, even across the ocean, um, and a lot that we can apply to Hanover and to Dartmouth um, about how to address these sustainability goals. One of the benefits of this, this trip is certainly being able to talk to a lot of different people and different jobs in a very condensed period of time. In the context of an issue as complex as climate change achieving sustainability, there's no single person who has the entire truth about the situation, about the problem, about the solution that we need. And so one thing that I want to prioritize moving forward is trying to get those other perspectives and that other information so that when I'm making decisions, when I'm going out and doing that sustainability work in the world, I'm doing it based on, you know, not just my own perspective and my own experiences, but ideally a collective of different perspectives and different experiences that will then lead us closer to some kind of tangible truth. Experiential learning like this trip is really important for our students to be able to build upon what they're learning in the classroom and then go and see firsthand how people are putting it into practice. And to really be immersed in the culture, the landscape, and the unique set of circumstances and the people that are making these sustainability transitions happen. This experience was so powerful and I think I learned so much. And so I really hope that I can bring those lessons and those skills back to the classroom and back to the Dartmouth community as a whole.